Okay, so I just took my makeup off. It's been a super long day. You guys, I was just thinking about this past year and how insane it's been. I just can't even believe where I'm at right now and I'm so blessed and thankful and I have so much further to go but I was looking at my snapchat memories about like where I was last year I was literally in a hotel room with the fucking the biggest loser on the planet and our German shepherds this was right before I lost my baby and everything And now I'm in my own place. I'm hopefully gonna have a management position, like an upper management position. I quit drinking, I cut out carbs too. If you guys know me, you know how much I love my ramen noodles. Like I talked about this briefly. I can't describe the gifts and rewards you get from life when you fucking cut out the hard shit. And nobody wants to fucking hear that when they're in the midst of like whatever they're crutching on, whether it be like, Cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, sex, anything, literally. When I deprived myself of all the things that made me feel good in the moment and chose the hard path is when I began to get rewards out of life. And that's exactly what elitists will tell you. Obviously, I'm not calling myself an elitist. But any self-help book, any psychology chapter any influencer who's really at the top will tell you you go to the gym you pick what's hard you save your money you don't drink you don't do drugs like any little thing that is hard and obviously you gotta like live life but if you do those things you will be rich you will be successful today was a really tough day for me mentally actually the past two days because I felt like life was hitting me really, really hard. I told you guys my fucking stupid ex-husband's whatever the fuck she is messaged me on a couple different platforms. I haven't thought about him and fucking... It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. The point is, is that it kind of brought up old energy that was just negative and bad. Because like I gen when I tell you I genuinely hate him, I genuinely hate him. And I'm sure it's mutual. Oh, God to sit up hold on i i just like black hair dye okay it doesn't matter we're in different places but to be reminded of all that just made me sick to my stomach and so i started my day off like that yesterday because she wanted to talk about stuff and like i openly talked to her about stuff too like it doesn't it doesn't even matter but it brought up energy you know what i mean and hate which I'm trying to get out of my heart, to be honest with you, because I'm a very, I've been through a lot. I just want to be peaceful and happy. So I already started off the day anxious and mad. So I went to work, did the thing, whatever, took care of my responsibilities, came home and chose sobriety, which was very hard. And like I said, it's not like I have this impending alcohol issue, but it's not healthy to drink as much as I was drinking and as often. And I am honest, honestly, I'm 38. I, I don't need to be drinking like that. I need to be worried about my health because God damn it, I'm getting older. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. Thankfully, I woke up this morning really, really proud of myself because choosing that is tough. You know what I mean? And then today, just like life. Again, got home from work sad lonely thought about having a drink didn't do it very proud of myself the urge to cry is there i'm not gonna lie because it just it just feels like life is hitting you left and right but i'm so proud of myself i just started cleaning i just started i made the bed i made the bed this morning but did the dishes reorganizing my things things that i know when i wake up in the morning and i see a clean house and i see everything smells good and it's fresh that is worth so much more than right now having a drink what honestly what is drinking gonna do make me cry make me get my feelings even more to be honest i hate i hate drinking i only want to go out and have fun with my friends like on a rare occasion you are not gonna find me at the bar 
that life has passed, who needs the risk of getting in trouble or losing my keys? Like that doesn't sound like appealing at all. Like I don't wanna be out at all. In fact, I went on like a blocking spree this past week. Actually, I had an ex reach out. Like we kind of talked about stuff briefly a while ago. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I apologize for my part in it, but you know, whatever. Um, and he wanted to hang out today and I was like, no, no. If it didn't fucking work, it's not gonna work. Like stop, like, you know, and I just, friends, I, I need only positive things in my future right now. And in my present day, I need to be working. I need to be responsible and to get an oil change. Like I can't be thinking about anything other than elevating my life and being sober. Like I have been, like I told you guys, like I've had a drink here and there, like a few sips of a drink a few days ago, whatever. But like, I've never felt more clear and on my shit than when I stopped drinking excessively. And I know that's what everybody says if you watch like stories, but until you live it, you don't understand like the, the mental fog that you're under and how your relationships are affected and your decision making. Obviously, these are like obvious things, but until you go through it, I just can't believe what a fool I was. And it's so funny because his ex or his current girlfriend or whatever, she was like, I didn't mean to text you as in a drunken whatever and I deleted it. Well, no, you didn't because <laughs> here I see it. But I remember being that person like obviously she got drunken in her feelings and thought to message me. I didn't even know she existed. I don't care. But it's just like I just want to be left alone. People that don't have good intentions need to leave me alone because I'm vicious. The one thing I'll say that I feel really, really bad about for her is that she's very nice when she messaged me on the second platform although it's fucking insane and crazy she worded it in a very nice manner and he's a fucking shark he's gonna eat her alive and that's exactly why he hasn't committed like fully you know what i mean and i am a beast like i'm just as equally as crazy that's one of the reasons why it didn't work in other ways there's so many reasons it doesn't matter i don't care about him but I see the innocent version and that's exactly what, oh, just like, he's going to ruin her. And I told her that. I'm like, he's going to ruin you. He's insane. His family has already warned you. <laughs> I just like, she's so nice and innocent and I wish I could get that back in myself. I was never with him, but like, oh, I fucking hate him. I can't believe some of the decisions I made. Oh my God. But like, we live and we learn. I'm just being honest. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. I'm sure he feels that way about me. I'm just saying. I wasted so much of my youth and time trying to fix relationships that I never should have been in or problems that I never, you know, like, like it's insane. And choosing like, look how clean and cute my little like area is, so cute. There were a bunch of beer can and not beer. I don't drink beer. Women should not drink beer. It's an unpopular opinion, I know. But like seltzer stuff, you know, you get depressed and your bed stands full of things or whatever. No. I did every little piece of clothing in, in my house is washed and put away. And I hate laundry. Hate it. I love to have clothes hate to do the laundry and once I wash it it's it's like rare for me to put it away it's all organized in little sections for short sleeve long sleeve whatever I am that bitch I'm actually a really good wife and a really good mom and a really good homemaker if you don't fucking piss me off and I know that's like everybody but like I'm so picky about my energy right now I need to be around like-minded people I need to keep my ass out of the bars, out of anywhere. I need to get my ass back in the gym. Actually, it was funny because I have headphones or whatever, and they take an Android like plug, and I have the brand new iPhone like plugs where you have to keep the little piece in it. So the one reason I haven't been to the gym, my excuse is that I don't have the the plug to charge it. So instead of making another yet another excuse, tomorrow after work I will be buying the plug 
can't worry about that when I'm sick. And I'm on the carnivore diet, which is another thing that's hard for me because I love carbs. I would love, okay, because I'm in my feelings and kind of like sad and lonely and depressed, but not really like I'm thriving, but like I am, you know what I mean? Like there's a fine line. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I would love to mix myself a cup from here. Like this is filled with water, thank you. Full of ice with Tito's and ooh, probably diet seven if I were if I were to like have it like a double shot and watch my football documentaries because I love football yes I do and order like Olive Garden that sounds like the perfect comfort comfort night for me with the feelings that I'm having my day was fine I'm very very like excited about my opportunities with work. I will always do my job. I will always do my job. I will always do my job. But you come home and then then there's this. There's this quiet. But you know what? It's clean. I need to get a new thing. You can see like it's it's bothering me. The curtains are too heavy. So I will do like things like that. So instead of buying Tito's, I will be buying a, a hanger that can fit more blackout curtains because I love the dark. Yes, I do. I thrive in the dark. I want no light. I want only artificial light and some LEDs. I think my best friend has this really cool bedroom set and depending on what happens with my job, I don't wanna like say anything cause like I've heard a couple things, depending on whatever, I'm gonna splurge and buy that bedroom set. It's Hers is really cool. Hers is white and like has LED lights. I'm gonna get the black one with the lights cause I like black and I might contact them to see if they can paint the walls. If I have a professional painter do it, I'm gonna see if they'll do it. They said I could wrap my countertop, so I feel like if I pay to have it painted professionally, we'll see what happens. But like little things like that, you know what I mean? Like those are the things, oh my God. And like, it is growth because I came home feeling like whatever, I started cleaning. And I feel like I'm ADHD as fuck. So I'm like bewapping through like the different things. But instead of like hopping online and checking Facebook and seeing if anyone's messaged me or whatever, I started watching YouTube videos on the carnivore diet to learn and educate myself. Learned a lot of things. I learned I can have sour cream. I love sour cream. I can have, that's like a treat, but like you can have it. And I fucking love sour cream. And today I had, what did I have today to eat? I gotta be careful because I can already tell on my face, which I love. It's one of the things with drinking I hated. I could feel my face like swelling up after a couple drinks. Like we can't be ugly and fat, we can't. But today I had some beef jerky, jalapeno beef jerky. And I know there's a lot of sodium in that, but I've cut out Diet Coke pretty much. Not because I'm cutting out soda, but because I'm not drinking and I love Diet Coke. So I've cut that out like subconsciously, which is great. The health benefits I'm sure are fantastic as long as as well as the money, but I had that. And then I had uh, one of my friends that I work with wanted me to pick her up some food. So I picked up, I hate Burger King chicken, it's disgusting. But I just ate the spicy chicken patty, disgusting. That shit's for the fucking birds, puke. But I had that. And because I spent the money on it, I ate it. And then I, what else do I have? Another couple bites of another packet of beef jerky because I bought two because I knew tonight I'd be hungry. So a lot of sodium and there's a lot of sugars in that too. But one thing I learned on the carnivore thing, your first week, you're not supposed to worry about the spices and shit because it's so easy to fall off. And I told you guys, I'm not buying any food in the house except for what I'm going to eat because I know I will eat it. I'm so disciplined. Like I am a motherfucking disciplined beast. And I'm proud of myself because it's so easy to be an adult and just do whatever you want. And that's what I've been doing the past two years. Mainly because I hated my husband so much. That's the reason I started drinking. I never drank before him. I hate you. God, I hate him. But whose fault is it but my own? It's my own fault. My own fault. I take responsibility for it. Thank God I didn't waste 20 years, a lifetime, Oh my God, proud of myself. I don't want to be reminded of it. Like, oh my God. Anyway, 
it's so like it's like the little things and this is my online diary whatever but I'm thankful I just feel like a lot of things when you're on the rise and you're trying to better yourself or whatever a lot of things are gonna come and hit you you know but like staying strong and choosing the hard way is always gonna benefit you the most and I'm on the motherfucking pursuit bitch of better things and the old way wasn't working for me so I have to switch it up I had to switch it up and so far I'm lonely <laughs> I'm lonely but I'm not desperate so that's a plus and I'm choosing and it'll pay off and I will find the perfect partner for me that's also a motherfucking disciplined beast and until then I'm gonna just stay cleaning and working and um sad if I have to why is sad being sad such a like it's a it's actually a very common thing I'm never gonna try to pretend to be something I'm not don't let my modeling pictures fool you I am fucking sad man man I'm sad but like I'm winning you know so I'm just like my winnings pay my bills work hard for my money whatever and just try to do better every day better every day so I just had to pop in here and say those things I'm gonna post this tonight I know I posted a video earlier but I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck it takes to get through the day in a positive way until it's just easier eventually this will get easier eventually this will pay off eventually it won't be like this but like this isn't bad either and it's important to document these times because looking back when I'm hopefully in a much better position because of today days like this I can look back and be like god damn I remember feeling like that and I'm not going to take for granted how I feel now because it's not always going to be like this or it wasn't always like this and I must tell you sitting here today paying my own bills having a clean house this might not be the nicest place and I have been poor I've been rich I've been rich rich I've been poor poor and this is somewhere in between I think this is what middle class might be I don't know I don't know I've only been one or the other I have no idea I've never like I've, I've literally had a man take care of me all my life yeah I've been married so when I tell you I don't give a fuck about money I used to flush Versace washes down the toilet because I don't care like not because I'm like okay that sounds terrible but like my ex would buy me gifts or whatever and like no but he didn't take care of my heart and my mind. That's the thing. I feel like, okay, this is going off on a tangent, but one thing about me is I actually really like a dominant partner, but you have to take care of the woman's heart and mind. If you make her go crazy mentally, like you're gonna leave or you're gonna cheat or whatever, you're gonna lose a really good woman and you just look desperate and stupid at the end of the day. Like you're not a leader and that woman, if she's a strong woman, is gonna step up and take the lead. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. But if you are dominant and you are taking care of the woman's heart and mind, you're going to have a submissive woman for life. Men are so dumb. Women are also dumb. So anyway, I stood up and I'm taking care of myself and I flushed the gifts down the toilet because that is exact. I should have donated them. You're right. I should have brought them to Goodwill or gifted them to somebody. But in the moment when you're so mad and angry about whatever it is, it was the principle at that point. And I don't care. Do I like nice things? Yeah, of course. My beautiful Suburban that I paid for myself is also gone, okay? Like there was a lot of lessons this year. I did not cry one time over the Suburban. I didn't cry over the watch or the husband. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself for how far I've come. You know what, you cry over things so much, so much in the moment that when it happens, it's just like almost like a breath of fresh air. You know, it's like when my grandma, my grandma was everything to me and she raised me and she was everything, but I mourned her for so long before she passed away because she was sick for so long and I was so scared to lose her that when she passed away, I was just so happy she wasn't suffering anymore. And that's how relationships are. You know, it's like you almost know before they're over, but you don't want to believe it. So you just go through that trauma and that anxiety and that depression and that sadness and 
when I left him, he was fucking like a weight that was lifted off my shoulders. And like I said, I'm sure he feels the same about me. I just don't want to, I hope no other fucking ex or girlfriend or whatever the fuck messages me because I, I got nothing to say. I learned that lesson this time. Ugh, God. Okay, anyway, I just wanna pop in here. I'm gonna say those few little words. I'm gonna take a bath and I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna put my retinol on, okay? Because that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go to bed early, get up in the morning, get that charger and go to the gym before work. My son made homecoming court and I'm so proud of him and the kids and everything. What do I got to be sad for? It's all here. So this, this, if this helped anybody get off your ass and do something productive, stop crutching on the ailments that keep you down. And if I can do it, anyone can. So there's that.